Got a treat for you, Mr. DJ, outsourcing billboards Hot 100. Last week of June, 1964, June 27th, 1964, song making its debut at number 99. I used to love her, but it's all over now. Not by the Rolling Stones, but the original version by the Valentinos, 1964. It peaked at 94. This is a treat. A lot of people don't realize that Valentinos, they had this record. Originally known as the Womack Brothers. And the song was written by Bobby Womack. And uh, peaked at 94, it died. But the British Invasion saved this record. Indeed, that week in late June 1964, Peter and Gordon's World Without Love, a classic British Invasion hit. Number one here in the States on Billboard's Hot 100, written by Paul McCartney, my boy Lollipop, another British Invasion hit in the top 10, Dave Clark 5, Can't You See That She's Mine, at number 16 that week on Billboard's Hot 100. Murray Decay, a DJ at WINS, brought the Valentino's version of It's All Over Now to the Rolling Stones' attention. The Rolling Stones were on their first American tour, North American tour, and Murray Decay was doing a series of interviews with the Rolling Stones. He played for them, the Valentino's version of It's All Over Now, because Murray Decay knew See, when the Rolling Stones first started off here in America, their first hits in America were blues records. And they sounded authentic when they redid or when they redid these blues records, these R and B records. They just nailed it. That's just how great the Rolling Stones were. Now in nineteen sixty four, the Rolling Stones were not that big. They did have a big hit with uh, Time Is On My Side, another R&B remake later on in 64, but they didn't go into Warp Drive until 1965. The Last Time in the Spring of 65 and then Satisfaction in the Summer of 65 and then uh, Get Off My Cloud in the Fall of 65 and then as the years go by in late 65, early 66, then they really went, <laughs> well, they went to Warp Drive, but this is in 64. The Rolling Stones flipped over this record. That legend has it that they just raved about it. It's all over now. This is a great R&B record. We've got to do this. About a week later, they went to Chess Records, and they recorded their version of It's All Over Now. Bobby Womack was not happy. Now, Sam Cooke produced the Valentino's version of It's All Over Now. And this was on Sam Cooke's record label, the SAR record label, which Sam Cooke founded in 1961. And the conversation went, I guess, something like this. Bobby Womack is Sam Cooke. Bobby Womack, I don't want the Rolling Stones to cover this record. I told Mick Jagger that just do your own stuff. Do your own material. Don't, don't touch my record. Don't touch this record. Can't touch this. And Sam Cooke was like, whoa, chill out, Bobby. Think about this. Let the Rolling Stones cover this song. Let them cover this record. Because the British Invasion, man, this it's happening. If this song becomes a massive hit, you're going to get yourself a big-ass royalty check. Think about those royalty, check, royalty checks. Going to make some money, a pile of dough. And sure enough, the Rolling Stones version, it went to number one in England. Went to number 26 here in America, which is not too bad for the Rolling Stones. Getting started in the summer of 1964, first charting here in the States. And Bobby Womack, well, he, he, well, he got a very generous royalty check. And after that, he, thought, he said, look, Mick Jagger, you can cover any song that we've done that I've written. <laughs> Money talks. There's no doubt about it. Anything else I need to mention about this song? I don't think so. I think I'm done. Boy, I just... It, this is a treat. I slammed this immediately into my Spotify playlist. Great Lost 45. Valentino's It's All Over Now at number 99 on Billboard's Hot 100, late June 1964.